There's a lot of nervousness associated with adopting and onboarding laser powder bed fusion. And part of that, and there are many reasons, but part of that comes from a lack of understanding. And the one we'd like to talk about today is a lack of understanding of the parameters. I'd like to relate those parameters to a recipe. So we control the inputs to a recipe for a cake, for example, and we guarantee a certain set of outputs. And also the parameters associated with laser powder bed are analogous to those of conventional machining as well. So I personally always relate scan speed with feed rate, laser power with spindle speed, for example. I'll start with the scanning parameters. So namely, these are laser power and scan speed. The laser power is the, re the requested power of the laser that you're asking to fire at the given area. And the scan speed is the speed at which the galvanometers direct that laser around the powder bed. Subsequent parameters are all associated with the geometry. At its most basic, it's where the laser fires and when. Firstly, the hatch scans would be, will be laid down with a given hatch distance in between them. Following on from that, there will be one or more contour scans. These will all have a hatch offset associated with them, which is the distance between the innermost border and the outermost edge of the inner scan lines. And then there will be a border offset that is associated with the distance between the innermost and the outermost border. All of these are at its most basic there's far more to it, and each and every scanning speed and laser power can vary depending on the area of the geometry. So a border and a hatch obviously can all have different scanning parameters associated with it. 